Hello, everybody. Dr. Lonnie Stewart here from the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. Are you a physical therapy student about to start studying for the National Physical Therapy Examination? Or maybe you're a professor, a program director, or a clinical instructor who teaches DPT students preparing for the NPTE? Either way, we would recommend checking out our sponsor, NPTE Final Frontier, and the community they've built around preparing for and succeeding on the NPTE. That exam and the preparation that goes along with it can be long, tedious, difficult, and stress-inducing, but it doesn't have to be. NPTE Final Frontier has the tactics and resources to help address all of the usual barriers. They even have scholarships to help with NPTE study courses, FSBPT registration fees, and even research opportunities. And if that's not enough, they're even donating to the very first annual HET Podcast Scholarship to be awarded at the end of every year. Go to NPTEFF.com for all of the details and use code HET for 10% off all purchases. Links to both the NPTE Final Frontier and their scholarship options are available in the show notes. And now, let's get ready to learn. Hello, everybody, and welcome to part three of five of this Teach Me Something Tuesday uh, pack of thankfulness, gratefulness, uh, wellness, health, and just all things self control, self-love, self-care, self, self-awareness, self just all the self things, right? We're trying to become better versions of ourselves. whether we're a professor, whether we're a student, we're trying to, to figure out ways that self-care can help us in the bigger picture here when we're studying hard or when we're working hard. And this third of five episode of Teach Me Something Tuesday really goes into control. We, we worry so much and we stress so much uh, on things that are outside of our control, and that's just not healthy overall. There's that serenity prayer that you may have heard, you know, whether you're religious or not, it's used for, for many different programs, uh, but the serenity prayer basically says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, right? And that's really big because, again, there are going to be things that are out of your control. There's going to be things that just, you you know, natural disasters, traffic, the family emergencies. There's just a ton of things that, that we don't control in our lives. Are they stressful? Sure, absolutely. But if we can't control them, there's only so much we need to stress about them. Too much stress is unhealthy, right? Increased levels of cortisol, not good, right? That, that just basically puts strains on our health and it drains our energy. If you ever find yourself in this negative loop, you have to start thinking about acceptance and realizing that, hey, there are things outside of my central locus of control that I have no power over. And if you can accept that and acknowledge the situation for what it is with clarity, you can really start focusing on the facts that you know to be true. This is a thing. It is what it is. I can't control it. I just have to figure out how to deal with it or, or roll with it, right? The next step then, you have to kind of think about how you can move forward with less stress, less strain, less struggle. If we do those two steps, we can really start to focus on what we can control. And that's the biggest part in life, right? What are the things that we can have an impact on that can help our lives, that can move us forward? And I think if you really start to A, accept the things that are outside of your control, B, work on the things that you can control, it amounts to a greater sense of happiness, a greater feeling of positive emotion and less stress. And again, when it comes to self-care and just being thankful and grateful and you know, happy with ourselves and our situation and where we're at. This is a big part of it. Stressing over things that we have no control over doesn't help us in the long run. It just doesn't move us forward. You know, we have to realize that things are going to happen in life. But if we can take those things and kind of start to, you know, filter out the ones that we have control over and the ones that we don't, at the very least, we'll be worrying a lot less. And then we can put in an action plan and really start to address the things that we need to address to try to make the situation better. So again, focusing on those things that you can control is a big way to help reduce stress and just improve your action planning and your ability to handle stressful situations and, you know, really have the positive outcomes that you're looking for. Because again, 
if this whole five part series is about self care and wellness and checking in on yourself and do it, being the best version of yourself you possibly can, uh, realize that there are things that are going to be out of our control and that's okay. We just need to learn how to handle the things that we can control. Once you start accepting that, that can really help with your overall stress levels and just generally feeling happier. Hope that was helpful and we will see you on the next one. Hello, everybody. Dr. F. Scott Field here, and we don't do this nearly enough. Uh, I wanted to thank you as an audience for being here, for listening to the shows. Without you guys, we wouldn't have anybody to geek out with uh, over education and learning and teaching and educating. So thank you for, for being here, for being you know faithful listeners over the years. Uh, also, if possible, we'd love to ask a favor. We don't do this often, but if you could leave a rating and a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you listen to this podcast, we would greatly appreciate it. It helps boost our rankings and our algorithm and really just helps get this message out to more people out there in healthcare education who, who may need you know some of the episodes and the experts that we interview. So if you could, like I said, leave a rating and review, we would greatly appreciate it. And we will see you on the next show.